All right, you guys, I'm back from shopping. Very excited because we're going to be styling so many different outfits that are classic French girl, French woman inspired outfits. These are gonna give you lots of inspiration for the coming year. And I don't know about you, but whenever it's a new year, I always feel like doing something really nice for myself and then also really kind of taking inventory and taking stock of what worked, what didn't, where do I wanna go? And what kind of person do I want to be represented as in this world? Now I know 2020 was not really the year that any of us had planned and so sometimes outfits and styling and wardrobe can feel like it's just like what's the point? But I still believe that the way that you dress represents how you feel about yourself on the inside and when you feel really really good about yourself, even if you're not exactly in the place you want to be, it changes how you interact with yourself and with others and I think it just raises your game so it's something I always believe believe in for me and for the people that I work with and so I'm really excited to let you guys know that I'm actually taking this opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do and really to be honest with you lacked the confidence to do in the past. I did do personal styling um, you know for the last couple of years I actually worked one-on-one -on -one with clients virtually and here in my hometown but after the transformation of this year and going to counseling for a year I feel better than I've ever felt before for, and so I just am so excited to take this on again and I actually have opened up virtual personal styling sessions for you guys online and I'm really really pumped to start working with women and men again to help them create a classic wardrobe that makes them feel chic and cute and put together but is within their budget and within their realm of possibility and I know creating a classic wardrobe can sometimes seem really daunting and really expensive and you just don't know where to start and you don't know what you have in your wardrobe that you need to keep or what you need to get rid of or how to put certain outfits together or if you have the same style with all of your clothes or different styles and that's kind of what I love to help people figure out is like you've got these beautiful key pieces that you can style in several different ways and then maybe here are some holes in your wardrobe that you can fill in. So today what I'm really excited to do is to show you how I I have taken all items from big box stores like Old Navy and Target that typically aren't the best quality that you wouldn't necessarily associate with French girl style or classic style but showing you that if you really are constrained by budget with which most of us are I know I am that you can still find really high quality pieces or really high quality looking pieces and then just do your very best to take great care of them so that they become a sustainable well-loved piece of clothing in your closet that you wear again and again in multiple ways. I personally would wear all of these things and I am really wanting to keep all of these things but I bought these things to show you on video so everything still has tags on them and just kind of break down some of the outfits for you. I hope this gives you some inspiration and if you would like to book a personal styling session with me I would love to invite you to do that. You can click the links uh, in the description card above or in the or in the card above or in the description box below. And one final thing I will say is, is that I love big box stores for the simple fact that you can actually find articles of clothing for every color, like if you're, you know, cool, warm, whatever. And then you can also find clothes for every shape and size. And that is amazing. Honestly, if it's not the thrift store, which you know, that is my jam. I live for the thrift store. 99% of my entire life is secondhand, then you can go to big box stores and find these pieces of clothing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in and start styling some really beautiful classic French woman outfits. I don't know how else to put that. <laughs> I think they're classic and chic. All right, you guys, so the first thing I have here is classic black slacks. These are high-waisted, kind of like paper bag style. And then I have a basic white t-shirt. This is the t-shirt from Everlane that I decided to keep. Both the blazer and the slacks are from Target. And all of the sizes, links to everything will be in the description box below. Basically, this is just a very classic look. It's very easy to wear. I feel like it would go well with really any body shape because you can kind of cinch these. You can wear them a little bit wider. The blazer on top is super forgiving and just kind of covers a multitude of sins. Uh, you could wear these with heels or with flats. These are from Dillard's. They're called And Daughters. 
and daughter, and they're like a all leather little bow croc flats. You could wear them with flat flats or even heels or even boots. And so just know that you could style this several different ways if you wanted to. Basically, I will show you what I've got here. So you just throw the boots on and you have this kind of like very chic but kind of a little bit more, I don't know, edgy look to it and then you could swap out the blazer this is more of like a lightweight blazer you could swap it out for a heavier weight blazer that would probably more like a coat texture to it so take the coat here this is from old navy i love this piece so much i think this is just like one of the best pieces that i have found from a big box store ever um it's like reminds me of this hermes coat that i almost had my hands on when i worked at a consignment shop but you could also belt it you know if you wanted to like wear it slightly closed then you can put a belt around the outside if you wanted to but there's nothing more classic than wearing a pair of black slacks and a white t-shirt and a blazer you could also swap out this kind of ready-made belt with a belt with a kind of a nicer buckle on it and that's that's one look a couple of different looks then you could definitely go a little bit more chic if you wanted to and style it with these cap toe kind of chanel inspired how cute would that be i just I love this look and so one way that you can swap it out and make it different is by like one day you're wearing kind of the lighter weight blazer and the t-shirt and the pants and more of a fancy shoe and then the next day you're wearing more of a heavyweight blazer same shirt same pants different shoe change the belt and you've got a whole different look but it's basically the same outfit going for something a little more casual and funky this one is from old navy and i just thought that was the most adorable thing i'd ever seen in my life and yes you can mix black and navy so let's do that really quick i'm absolutely in love with it but you could do a more casual look where it's just kind of like slightly front tucked like that and a little bit longer open in the back or you could go ahead and tuck it all the way in and then if you had a pair of like converse you could easily wear a pair of chuck taylors with this on the bottom and that would be unbelievably cute how freaking adorable is that so you could definitely do any of the three shoes again but we'll try these guys we didn't do them before. I have two different coat options, but I was on the fence about using both of them. So there's this one from Target. This would be an amazing piece to just kind of have in your wardrobe because it's got these big lapels here, has button closure, chic look to it. You could also belt it on the outside. I think it really, really works. I know it's kind of hard to see everything, but it's so sweet. This is a second hand belt, by the way. It is a, a Brighton leather belt, so beautiful. It's like a really big tartan, oversized, and it's navy, uh, which I think picks up on the navy and red in the t-shirt. And it still goes with the pants, I think. I mean, you know, no one can really see that. I love these pants. Let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, so I've got on another t-shirt here. This is from Target. And I thought it would pick up the color in the blazer really well. And I have my thrifted belt here, which I'm also going to put on. Because I think we're going to mix it up. That's one really good thing you can do with pants that have belt loops is add your own belt if it comes with a belt. And then it just like elevates the look a lot, I think. Wow. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Yes. Comfortable as if this could be a work appropriate outfit. Uh, I know this might seem like it would be a little too dressed up for going out just out and about, but I personally think that you cannot be overdressed. I that's my personal philosophy is that you can't be overdressed per se. 
so I paired it with um, these J. Crew leather moto boots that have the little gold detail on the side. So I think it's got this really nice, super sexy, but very put together look. I just feel instantly elevated. I feel instantly cool and confident just because of these silly little things. These little details. Okay, this 90s style top is from Old Navy as well. And what I really like about it is that it can be casual, it can be worn with jeans as you'll see. Oh yes. Oh yes. I think that black and red is one of the best color combinations that you can possibly make, honestly. I really do, because it's like very bright red, not so muted, and then you just got a heavier blazer, and then I think that you can wear the heavy boots with it, you can wear Converse with it, or Supergas would be really cute, or you could swap them out for the more chic pumps, the chanel -y pumps, and have a very, very, very put-together chic look and you could put another black belt here or you could do no belt either way I think that definitely works let you guys decide I think we could also try belting it and then you could always layer up with another outerwear piece if you wanted to since we're going into winter I definitely think it's important to layer up so you could also wear tights under these pants, which I really like. Oof, which I really like. I have this other top here that I got. It's a very romantic cotton flowy blouse, which is not typical winter item, not typical winter garb, but I do believe that this could be a transitional piece that you could wear any season, honestly, and it would go so many different ways, and obviously it goes great with the pants, but it also goes really well with all the jeans. One thing I do want to point out is that when you keep to a certain color scheme in your wardrobe, you can swap out things. So I've got like a dark wash denim. Well, you could just swap that out with these slacks, and you have a totally different outfit, but it's just a little bit more casual, and you'll see that as we go through all of the pieces. The Old Navy Hermes blazer. Then I would love it with the Ann Daughters flats. And just with these pants, you can see how many different outfits we have been able to create so far, which is really cool. Okay, I have on this kind of washed out chambray style baby doll blouse or prairie blouse. I think it's not the same color black as the slacks, but I don't think that necessarily matters too much if you're going to be layering. It's very French to dress in all black, let me tell you. Then we'll go back to our fake Chanel's. And I've swapped out for this knit striped sweater from Old Navy and I think if you were to kind of wear it long like this since it's more of like a nautical style sweater anyway I would actually consider belting it like that you could potentially do that if you felt comfortable belting it and then obviously wearing it with your pumps here or you could do the Converse or the Moto Boots or even the uh, Crocodile Flats. I think this is my favorite blazer. <laughs> you could also tuck this in. If you didn't want to wear the blazer, you could definitely wear the oversized coat. Now we have on, I believe this is called a Fair Isle sweater. It has this kind of Swedish uh, knit top or design on the top. And I just front tucked it into the slacks. You just have this very casual but very adorable look. And I would definitely recommend pairing this with high top converse. Probably you could do black or cream or white. And then the moto boots would be so 
cute as well. I just feel very cute and cozy in this actually. I really do, I'm not lying. I feel great in this. Now I've swapped out for, I would call this like a fisherman style sweater. It is a cable knit and it has that cropped neck. And I'm just putting in my own Brighton leather belt here and I feel so cool in this, I really do. I'm going to swap out for my moto boots. Honestly, when you have classic items like this, you can put really any accessory that you want with it and work really, really, really well. Here it is with the moto boot. There's one other accessory that I wanted to show you guys that I should have been styling the whole time. But let me go grab it really quick. Alrighty, I've got this amazing fisherman's cap that I got at Old Navy as well. And then this is my thrifted red beret. So, wow, you could do a heck of a lot with these items so much. But let me just show you. I feel insanely, insanely cute and cool right now. It's not even funny. I'm gonna throw on my oversized plaid coat and I'm ready for winter. You probably would need to wear tights under here just to make sure that you're super warm but I love that these pants are so forgiving that you can actually tuck a sweater into that into them but yeah I just really love this look and doesn't it look so expensive but it's it was not it was not expensive <laughs> so target thrift store old navy target target and then my boots are from the thrift store so these higher end accessories i think make the look really 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 work and i have swapped out our final top this is a sweater again this has like kind of that fisherman style it has the key ring um zip closure i just front tucked it and i'm going to throw on my blazer underneath you could tuck this all the way in again i'm just going to kind of leave it out slightly you could wear the brighton belt you can wear the gold detail belt you could either wear the red beret Viso, as they say. Alrighty, here we are with the denim. These are from Old Navy, and I don't think that they're the mo most amazing quality, but if you're just looking to get some cute, in-style jeans, I would definitely recommend hitting them up there. And then we throw on our fisherman's cap. I think the really cool thing about having a very minimal amount of clothes like this is that you can create so many different outfits and looks because literally all we did was just swap out the bottoms and swap out the shoes. And that's what I like to call the anatomy of an outfit, which is where you are breaking down the outfit into individual categories that way you can swap out those categories to create new outfits so you have like your base layers then your outer layers and your accessories and when you swap out one or two or even three of those items you create a whole different look but it's really the exact same outfit so I just want to show you or you can swap out for the fancy Chanel shoes very sexy and sweet. Okay, I've swapped out the sweater for the red t-shirt. I've put on the little croc shoes, the croc flats, and I really think that something as simple as this is super, super chic and super put together. And you could obviously wear a belt. The one with the gold detail would be really, really lovely. You don't have to do stuff like that, but you can. Just a little added detail I think makes Things look a little more expensive than they actually are. A little bit more put together. So that's kind of that look. Like there are so 
so many endless ways you could style these items but for time's sake I want to do just a few more and then go to the slip dress so that you can see how much fun it is to style a slip dress and everything again is linked in the description box and including the sizes also Keep in mind that this is all from Target and Old Navy, so you guys can probably get these items right now if you're looking to shop for your 2021 wardrobe. So let's go ahead and keep going. You're doing such a very good job. Okay, still the same light wash denim, and I swapped out for the striped top with the kiss and the moto boots and the Baker Boy cap. And you could easily throw on any one of your blazers over the top. Okay, I love that. That's definitely a look. A little more casual. Definitely a little more casual. So something cool I want you guys to take note of is that I've got on a light top and a light bottom. You can also do the reverse, which is doing a dark top and a dark bottom. Or you could do a dark top and a light bottom. Light top, dark bottom. With these two pieces, so you've got like the dark chambray shirt, then the dark wash jeans. So you'd have this lighter, flowier top. That would be a really cute little outfit, like so. Or you could just swap out this blouse on top with the light wash denim and this is essentially the same outfit that we wore just a few outfits ago but we have a medium wash denim that's a little bit smaller and a little bit more cropped then we're wearing the knit sweater and the moto boots with it then you can wear your mez jacket on top here this does like a nice little combination there Okay guys, I have on this slip dress from Target. It is black and uh, I've, you just saw that I like recreated the exact same outfit that I had been wearing with the black jeans. But now I've got the quote unquote Hermes blazer and it's just playing with the moto boots. I think that looks pretty cute. Pretty gosh darn cute. But then you could also throw on your all black belt here. Your all black waist belt like so. Kind of like pull it up slightly. That's very sexy. Very sexy indeed. And you could keep the moto boots on. Or, so I'll do one foot the Chanel and the other foot the flat. And you can see the difference. You could easily get a gajillion outfit out of this wardrobe. It's like not even funny. So now we're going to try another blazer. Lighter weight blazer. It's like essentially the same outfit. Now I've put the striped top over, or the striped sweater over the slip, and I have the Chanel style shoes on, and I just think that is a very adorable look. It's a little more casual, just like dressed down, a little 1920s, if you will, and I think you could easily belt this. Here's the belt with the little outfit, and then you could throw on your overcoat. If you were feeling risky and wanted to be so um, underdressed on the bottom but then have the coat on the top. I really think this is something that everyone could wear. A French girl would definitely wear this. A French woman would definitely wear this. And that is it for all the looks. Guys, that was a lot. You did really well. That was so much outfit inspiration and I'm so proud of you for hanging on to the very end. Definitely let me know in the comments section below what you took away from this styling video. What was your favorite look? I really stand by the fact that everyone deserves to feel really good in the clothing that they're wearing no matter where they get it from or how much they pay for it. Whether you get it from the thrift store, the department store, online, or from a big box chain store like Old Navy and Target. All of the links will be linked in the description box below for your shopping pleasure. I hope you really enjoyed this and again want to remind you that that special discount for you guys stands through the month of January and you can book a personal styling session with yours truly and we can do this for your wardrobe uh, by clicking the link in the description box below. I hope you're really well. I cannot wait to see you guys next week for my collab with Marianne Liqueur so stay tuned for that and I love you so much and I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye.